Edmondson are officially champions. He wants it, he gets it, he scores! It's Jaden Sancho! Magnificent, outrageous stuff. We picked out the top 10 moments from a very, very special season. And begin right back with the campaign's opening game. It doesn't get any bigger than Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern München. Dortmund trying to turn this chance into an early goal, and they might just do that. Marco Reus, and foiled by the brilliant Manuel Neuer. Goretzka putting it back, come on. It was there for him, and hits are reacting magnificently. It's half time in this battle for the Super Cup. At the halfway stage at the Zignani Duna Park, it is Dortmund nil, Bayern nil. Jaden Sancho trying to bore a hole in the Bayern defence. The young Englishman beautifully done. Alcacer! Clinical! Paco Alcacer has broken through for Borussia Dortmund. Bayern behind. And Alcacer can say a big thank you to Jaden Sancho. Kimi inviting ball and a Coman. It's got to be surely. Lewandowski couldn't put it over the line. It looked as though it was going to be a certain Bayern equaliser. The counter attack might have been on. Boateng out of position. Guerrero was stumbling a bit, but managed to pick out Sancho, and the charge is truly on here for Dortmund. Will it be a second? There's the answer, Jaden Sancho! A brilliant counter-attack. Sancho makes it two. And now it is official. In 2019, in the DFL Super Cup, the winners, Borussia Dortmund. There was a really heartwarming moment just before Christmas. Javi Martinez injured himself in a sprint with Renato Stefan and kicked the ball out of play. A corner for Wolfsburg, but not according to Maximilian Arnold, who embodied the ideal of fair play. But Arnold does the sporting thing, just taps it out of play. That is greatly appreciated by the Bayern fans here at the Allianz Arena because clearly Martinez was in distress, but he touched the ball. So technically speaking, it had to be a corner. But I suppose there's the right thing to do and there's the wrong thing to do. And that's uh, the right thing to do from Alaba. He's giving it back now. A lot of fair play going on just before Christmas. Healthy rivalry is always important, but fair play comes above all else. Andre Kramaric's day just keeps getting better and better. The first Hoffenheim player in history to score four in a Bundesliga game. Andre Kramaric's cheeky no-look penalty to make the score 4-0 at Dortmund capped off a world-class performance. And yes, he didn't even look. It's Kramaric! Oh, and it's a sensational opening goal. It's Kramaric and it's two. Kramerich doubles his tally. And what a finish from Andre Kramerich completes his hat trick. Kramerich against Roman Berking. Four goals for Kramerich, four for Hoffenheim. A spot kick for the history books. Four goals against Borussia Dortmund, simply a great performance from Kramerich, rounded off by that daring no-look penalty. Coutinho! Oh, that's a good chip from Kimmich. That's going to be the goal that levels things up. Philippe Coutinho! Scores the goal that Bayern fans demanded against Bremen.
Coutinho lifts it over the top. Lewandowski, this time, yes, this time Lewandowski breaks his goal drought. Look at that little chip ball, perfectly timed by Coutinho. Coutinho makes it 3 1. An exquisite finish from an exquisite player. Philippe Coutinho makes it 3 1 with the deftest of touches. What a lovely goal to watch. A craftsman at work. Still 15 minutes to play and Bayern look hungry for more goals. Coutinho, Muller, it's there! Only Thomas Muller's second goal of the season. It's Bayern's number five. Just sit back and watch as Bayern come forward again. Coutinho! Oh, marvellous goal from Philippe Coutinho! A Bundesliga hat-trick of the finest quality today. That strike will be watched millions of times around the world and it'll get better every time you look at it. Superb stuff from Coutinho. What a great day at the office for Coutinho, his first Bundesliga hat-trick. A rampant Bayern side led by man of the match, Felipe Coutinho. It's finished in the Allianz Arena. Bayern 6, Bremen 1. It was the save of the season. Now Kimmich. It's a great run by Yulzuma. Kimmich! Oh, and has it squirmed in? No, says the referee. That can be the difference between winning and losing. Jan Zommer's fingertip save, simply spectacular. Match day 28, May the 26th, 2020, a day in which German footballing history was made. Dennis Diekmeier, a Sandhausen defender and a holder of a remarkable record. But here's the backstory. The now 30-year-old made his professional debut with Nuremberg in the 2009-10 campaign. He then spent eight years with his boyhood club, Hamburg. In 2018, he moved to Sandhausen. Prior to match day 28, Diekmeier had notched up an impressive 262 games in the top two tiers of German football, but had never scored, and not for the want of trying. It just somehow never quite came off for him even though he tried, tried, and tried again. And there was one occasion where he actually thought he had done it. Coming in forward to Diekmeier! Can you believe it? Put the flags up. Dennis was officially the most harmless outfield player in Bundesliga history. But then on May the 26th, 2020, at 7.15 p.m. local time in Wiesbaden, a cross from the left and can't get it away and it's turned in by Dennis Diekmeier. I do not believe it. Diekmeier had finally done it and then he even scored again. The spell was finally broken. And it's Jaden Sancho. Set a number of records this season. The England international broke a 52-year best mark with his goal against Union on match day 20, making him the first player under 20 to reach 25 Bundesliga goals. Oh, good tenacious play from Dortmund. Sancho again is in the box. No one wants to tackle him. And that's what happens when you don't tackle Jaden Sancho. The 19-year-old scores his 25th ever Bundesliga goal. His next entry in the record books followed on match day 24, and he became the youngest player to reach 27 goals in the Bundesliga. Really clever work on to Torgan Azar. Azar, oh for Jaden Sancho! His 14th goal to go with 14 assists. And at 19 years of age, he now is the youngest man to 27 career goals in the Bundesliga. And because that wasn't enough, Sancho kept going two games later. Here's Hazard, Delaney, Brandt. Brandt's away from Stodic. And Brandt into the middle, and Jaden Sancho makes it two. Here's Hazard. And it's Jaden Sancho! Dortmund restore their two-goal advantage. 
And it's a moment of magic from Jaden Sancho. Now Jaden Sancho leads the charge for Borussia Dortmund and completes his hat trick. His first ever hat trick in the Bundesliga. In doing so, he also became the youngest ever player to reach 30 Bundesliga goals. To round off the campaign, Sancho set another league record of 17 goals and 16 assists, something that no other player has achieved in a season since data collection began in 1992. The English prodigy keeps making history. You obviously can't leave him out. Werner! Hat-trick! Timo Werner! Second Bundesliga hat-trick of the season. The 22-year-old is always in the right spot when you need him. Werner was also involved in the other five goals. Here's Werner. Nice little turn of pace. Good ball in. Sabitzer! And then he scored a hat-trick in the return match. Simply extraordinary. Our number two is only 19 years old, from Norway, and wears the number 17 shirt. He wants it, he gets it, he scores! Erling Haaland with only his what, third touch of the game, his first shot on goal. Erling scores for Dortmund! Togan Hassan for big keeper. Also, Lega to Holland. Holland scoring again. Erling Haaland knows exactly what he has to do here, and he's done it. Erling Haaland scores a hat trick on his debut. Han scores a hat trick. Han scores a hat trick. Erling Haaland broke a number of records on match days 18 and 19. The forward became the first Bundesliga player to score a hat trick as a sub on his debut and he only needed 23 minutes to do it. No player has ever before needed so few minutes for his first three Bundesliga goals. Haaland netted five times in a total of 56 minutes across his first two matches, another Bundesliga record. And no other player has scored five goals in his first two Bundesliga games. But Haaland kept going. The Norwegian strike against Bremen on match day 23 made him the first player in Bundesliga history with nine goals from his first six games. Oh, Erling Haaland doesn't miss those these days. Has he ever missed those? I don't think so. Erling Haaland makes it 2-0 with a lightning finish. Bayern München are officially champions for an eighth straight record time and last but not least it's the champions and their multitude of records Bayern have been scoring goals like almost never before this season horrible stuff for Wolfsburg to look at and that's even worse Thomas Muller so often the provider this season gets his eighth goal of the season and Bayern München's 100th goal of the campaign provider in chief was Thomas Muller Muller. Oh, he's seen the run from Coman. This is really good stuff from Bayern. And that is the opening goal. The 21st assist of the season for Thomas Muller. That is a Bundesliga record for a single season. And then, of course, Robert Lewandowski. Magnificent, outrageous stuff. With a historic campaign. Muller makes a great touch on to Goretzka. And Lewandowski... And there is yet another record for Robert Lewandowski. Goal number 32 of the season that makes him the highest scoring non-German in a single campaign. He finished the season with an incredible 34 goals. Lewandowski makes it 34 goals in a season. It meant Lewandowski won his fifth Toyeke Cannon as the Bundesliga's top scorer. Once again, the record champions were in a class of their own. The 2019-20 season was full of moments and records we'll never forget. Thank you for watching the Bundesliga. Thanks for joining us. See you next season. What was your favourite moment? Let us know in the comments. Hello? Yes, you. 
Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now. <laughs> we are the Bundesliga.